back stretch and you have a little gap between you and the and the front runners what's kind of going through your head i mean you make that last push at the end to, to get second place what was going through your head at the end just kind of not give up and, and finish that one out well it's my senior year last race yeah and i was like okay if i'm gonna do it this has got to be the time and um in my previous races i have a lot of energy at the end that's like i don't know where it comes from but yeah just, i'm able to sprint it at the end which really helps in races like mm -hmm. long distance yeah. What's uh, just your whole day, everything you've done today, and uh, where do you get the energy from? How do you, what's kind of your mentality and your approaches? I guess, I don't know, pacing yourself, your energy levels throughout the entire, you know, the whole day of, um, you know, your pole vaulting 1600, uh, 800, and obviously the finish with the 3200. How do you kind of pace yourself throughout the day like that? Well, um, I have fabulous teammates to support me yeah. while I'm running. So they kind of help motivate me, and I'm their captain this year, so they've been extra supportive. And um, so I guess that's really what keeps me going through the races, thinking, okay, i got to get these points for the team. Yeah. So, um, meter split, two How do you feel as a team, the way I performed today, uh, just as a whole overall? Well, we only have, I think, eight or nine girls competing today, so I'm very impressed with how we did. And yeah. we have a very young team, so they've got a lot to do. Yeah, and you mentioned you're a senior. This is uh, you know your last go round. Uh, we kind of look back on your career and everything you've done, uh, you know, so far. Uh, you know, I guess lasting thoughts. Uh, I am so proud of myself and so proud of my coaches for helping me get this far, and uh, it's taught me some really great life skills going forward. Yeah. So.